First off, I want to say thank you for all of our players who have contributed towards version 3, as well as our players who continue to inspire me to continue to improve the world of Sekvenia. In this video, we will cover some of the new features of version 3. These are not all of the updates in version 3. To see a complete list of updates, visit the changelog link at the bottom of our website at http www.sekfenia.org. Once you log in, there are a couple things that will probably jump out at you. First, there is a recent updates section that is now on the page after you log in. This was a requested feature from a couple of our players as they often logged in without checking the main page. If you ever wish to get back to the page, you can do so at any time by selecting this house button. Next up is a notification system represented by the bell. There are certain events that happen that you will receive notifications for. This includes when your steward lets you know that Davy is in town. This often requested feature to bring a system closer to our players was one that was a priority for me to add in version 3. We will continue to expand events that show up in the notification based upon players' feedbacks. Next up is a checklist system. Based upon the feedback of new players, mentors, and others, we devise this checklist system. It has two components to it. The first component is a daily checklist. This should help players who are new to the game as well as very experienced players understand what tasks they probably should be doing every day. It will help develop habits that will help the players themselves as well as other players. As a reward for completing the daily checklist, you will receive one Pandora point, which is the currency for premium potions. The second component is the level checklist, which normally would be displayed right underneath the daily checklist. This directly replaces the Vice Regal Scribe. It is catered to have social components that players can use to interact with their fellow players more. It will expand a player's understanding of what all they can do in the game. In addition, it eliminates having to wait until reset to level. Once you have completed the required items and have the coin, you can level up instantly. Players who already achieved fields and workshops will probably enjoy the visual enhancements to both of these areas. In addition, we put the type of field or workshop directly in the menu system. This should help players be able to find the field or workshop they want easier. In addition, workshops can now queue up to five of the same items in one screen instead of having to go back and forth five times, an off-requested feature. We've also touched up the equipment area as well. My equipment has been relabeled to my closet to avoid confusion that some players have had. In addition, players have often said that they desire to have a set of equipments for battle and one for show. This will give a lot more RP opportunities as well. Let's take a look at the battle equipment here. You'll notice that you can take off individual ones or even repair them. Oh, and the remove all button here was added specifically by the request of Balloran. I know he's waited for it for years and I'm happy to deliver it. For those who want to show off only their battle, casual, or maybe even both, let's ho head over to the profile settings screen. This has been reorganized to have three tabs and have some of the new settings in a quick glance. This requested feature allows players more room to write up their RP information. Let's 
Speaking, speaking of profiles, let's go ahead and head on over and check out the new profile screen. First thing you'll notice is there are five new tabs along the top. These tabs are organized to give you better access to specific information of our players' characters, including the opportunity to read their home thread, which is a button that will appear underneath their avatar if they have it set up. It's a great opportunity to maybe even join in and visit them building a new story with them. Other improvements that have been requested that have been arrived in version 3 is the inclusion of being able to donate directly to guilds, vice royalties, and universities. These should help each of these specific areas grow a little better and in some of the more complicated methods that you had to do to support them. One other important change is moving away from the term retreat and instead calling it pause. The reason for that is it's an ook action and several players complained that it forced their characters into a temple. Respecting this, I moved it into the settings and then away area. This is where the auto response for away has been. You can now pause your character directly while updating your auto response. This will be like the old retreat system. Finally, version 3 includes a new travel system. This includes the ability to travel more than a single node in a single click. If you desire to just travel one node, then you'd click here, just like you've done before. If you want to travel a second node, you click on the link after the dot 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 then, and it will travel the two nodes. After both options, it tells you how many travel points, and if you need a boat. In this instance, we can't travel to the shallows because we lack a boat. You'll also notice that the node number is now included in the travel screen to help those artisans who desire to draw maps to have a better understanding or simply those trying not to get lost. Also, one key thing to note is different boats have different travel speeds. So the bigger the boat, pretty much the faster it can go. I hope you enjoyed this preview of version 3 and that you will enjoy the over 150 code changes that were put into version 3. I've already started plans for the next minor release and look for, forward to hearing your feedback on this project which has spanned well over a year. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to check out the tutorials which now have a keyword search or contact a member of our community team for additional assistance. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.